加拿大納税人聯盟委託嘅民意調查公司進行嘅調查顯示，近八成嘅受訪國民反對國會議員喺今年四月喺疫情期間第三次加薪。何明俊嘅報導。加拿大納税人聯盟表示，自疫情爆發以來，國會議員已經兩度加薪。而委託律師民調公司進行嘅調查顯示，七成九嘅本國國民都反對國會議員喺四月一號再度獲得加薪。聯盟表示，呢一種舉動不可接受。And this is the wrong thing to do for members of parliament. Our politicians in Ottawa, who are supposed to be representing us, should not be giving themselves bigger paychecks when their constituents are struggling through a pandemic, maybe losing their jobs, maybe losing their businesses, taking pay cuts. Terry Sonno 表示，喺疫情期间，有唔少国家同埋地区嘅政治人物减薪。而佢認為聯邦政府應該仿效喺二零零八年經濟衰退期間當時政府嘅做法。Oh, we should see the well. What what can happen is they can introduce、uh, a legislation, a bill to stop、uh, the pandemic pay raises. It's similar to what happened in 2010 under the Harper government. They stopped these automatic pay raises in response to the 0809 recession. 根據加拿大納税人聯盟估算，喺四月獲得加薪之後，後座國會議員薪酬相較於疫情前增加一萬多元。總理杜魯多就會加薪兩萬一千多元。新時代電視何明俊報導。